Hey there, if you're watching this, it's probably because you're on my channel, which is Drainin, by the way. If you're not on uh, the Drainin channel, well, go on the Drainin channel because this is Drainin channel content. But uh, my name is Drainin, <laughs> if that wasn't evident, and today we are doing the Cauldron Row walkthrough thing, how to do it. Now, first off, you're gonna find a weird entrance. You actually have to go down this cliffside here. You're gonna have to repel and then walk down through a tunnel before you open a door. It's just how they do it. Nice and fancy. I like that's a little puzzly. Um, that it's not so simple as just walking in the front door, but uh, that's how it is. Now, once you enter, there's gonna you're gonna go into a room with a few watchers and a ravager. And a ravager is basically a sawtooth, but pissed off. So, um, I actually had the fight recorded, but it was weird, so I can't show you that, but I did clear the room, and then you go onto the right side of the room, and there's a thing that you override, which then opens up a gate for you to go to the left side of the room, go on those little pinwheel things, and then go on to the flying cargo, uh, thing to get through the shield. Once you land from that, you're going to go on another spinny pinwheely thing, except this one's vertical. You have to shoot the middle of it again uh, from the bottom, and then you hop on, and then you proceed to the next area. After walking through some more hallways, you're going to end up in a big room with three watchers in it. Dispatch those watchers, drop down, and proceed to the next area, and you're going to be proceeding to the next area because... That's what you do when you proceed to the next area. Um, there's, uh, there's a few vertical things, and there's a few supply drops I didn't actually pick up. Uh, I want to point that out that there are more. I didn't really do a lot of exploring here. I just kind of went straight in because I did have a lot of stuff. Uh, but you're going to be wandering around and uh, picking them up as you go. As you can see, I jump up on a little cliff, and I go to a little side room. There's actually a few little side rooms in this cauldron I'd like to point out. Um, so if you do find something that looks like a path, but it you but you know it's not the main path go check it out because it could be something but be careful because actually later on in the cauldron i saw something that looked like a path but wasn't actually a path and uh, i actually ended up falling out of the map now the next room you enter is basically the panopticon there's two long legs in here uh, there's another ravager and there is a few watchers in here as well uh, I went up on the path to the left, took out a long leg, engaged a watcher and then a ravager, and um, then I crossed the bridge and uh, did the little thing you're supposed to do, but you can take out all of the creatures as well. I would almost recommend that over what I did, uh, because I, I still have a long leg and a watcher, but um, uh, whatever gets you through this room, basically you just need to go around the outside upper edges to get to a bridge that you then override to create and then you kill a watcher that's on there and then you override the middle area again. It might say you need to recharge your thing before you can override again because there is actually a cooldown every time you override. Uh, so you might, just, you might just have to wait for that to be finished uh, when you do do this. So once you're done that, you just drop down, go to the right, and go on a double pinwheel, and then follow a little bridge that is right after these pinwheels, and you'll be led down to a corridor. If you just stay on it, you can just keep on going left uh, on that pathway you're on, get to a bridge, and it's going to be like, I need to get there. And then you just make the bridge and basically promptly get there. It's a lot shorter. There's no really elongated cargo ride throughout the whole thing. Uh, so if you're wondering, hey, why is it so short? It's because it is. Once you're in the heart of the cauldron, you're going to see two watchers just like the Cauldron Sigma, and there's a bunch of supply crates around the area as well. So basically, just take out those two watchers and then go grab the supply crates. Uh, I found a few here. I didn't find a purple, but I found a blue, and there's a few white crates as well. Now, in the middle of this chamber, instead of a bellowback, is a nice and crispy snap maw. Now, this battle is actually fairly simple. Um, you just need a simple blast, trip, caster, shot, and it'll make the 
big old croc crikey uh, freeze and you can just spam it with arrows and it should go down in no time but it may sneak up on you so I'm telling you there's also a ravager that comes in and um, although it's not much to worry about like you can see here I just promptly deal with the snap mob I didn't even realize the ravager was around until it shot at me so it's nothing to worry about and it's easy enough to deal with but just don't let that sneak up on you because it actually scared the crap out of me when I realized what was happening so that should do it for this cauldron. I've been your host, Draenon, and this has been my walkthrough for Cauldron Row. This one should help you unlock uh, overriding a few new creatures, including this big ol' crikey crocodile snap maw. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, if you thought it was helpful, or if you like my other videos and stuff, which I do advise you to check it out, please leave a like and subscribe for more pretty much daily content, uh, and I'll see you next time.